Good morning and welcome to Business Breakfast. I'm Karen Percy. On the program today, up to 130 feared dead in the South Korean subway fire. Angry investors demand answers on the aristocrat leisure profit slump. And picking up the pieces at Colonial First State after Chris Cuff's golden departure. And we'll be joined later in the studio by John Pierce, the man who has to fill those big shoes at Colonial. Before we get to that, let's check the overnight financial markets. In the US, the Dow is 153 points higher, London gained 37, while on the Sydney Futures Exchange, the SPY is 12 points ahead. The Australian dollar is buying 59.03 US cents, the euro is weaker against the greenback. And we'll have more financial market analysis, plus our regular cross to New York later in the bulletin. First, though, to the day's top news stories. South Korean officials say two trains were involved in the huge blaze at an underground station in the southern city of Daegu, which has killed at least 50 people. Officials warn the final death toll could be far higher. Unconfirmed reports put the number at more than 130, with at least 70 still missing. <laughs> 